Right, I'm bringing you in here to my house to show you a lily that's flowering. Pretty obvious that these are the petals. The petals are folded up around the sex organs of the plant. This middle one here goes right down the middle. Let's have a look, closer look there. It goes right down there. You can see at the bottom it looks like a little green swollen but that's the ovary down there. So that middle part is the female part. She comes right up the tube here. That's the style, this whole tube. And then on top we have the sticky stigma. It is sticky, it's got a sugary coating on it. And the reason why it's got that is that the pollen grains off this part here, you can see them coming off on my finger, if you can see it. You see that little mark there? The pollen grains, they need to get on top of that, on top of that stigma. The female bit needs to be pollinated by the male bit. The male bit is this part here. You can see there are a number of male bits, one, two, three, four, five, six, on this particular flower, which is a lily. There's a bit of pollen down there too. So that pollen needs to get into there. From that point there on the stigma, it will grow down through that tube into the ovary down there. Now in the ovary are the eggs. Once that tube has grown down there and carried the male sex cells into the ovary, it will fertilise. So pollination happens here on the end, fertilisation happens down in here in the ovary. When you look at different flowers, they're all different in the way that they have these things arranged. For instance, I'll go over to the hydrangea. You see that looks quite different. I'll tap on that part. See if I can... That looks quite different in there. But once again, that's the stigma that you see. And the stigma will be doing exactly the same job.